Another one is High Paint. It's a great app, doesn't have liquefy, maximum 47 layers, basically appropriate knockoff. Okay, I have not seen this, but other people have commented, you forgot High Paint. High Paint review? It looks like this app used to be called Hui on Sketch. I did a video on that several years ago, and it was cool to see another free drawing app enter the Android space. That app was borrowing a lot from Procreate. Sounds like it's been updated and what I'm hearing here is that it's kind of a pixel for pixel knockoff of Procreate. So let's check it out. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. I get this question at the beginning of every single video. What tablet are you using? This is the OnePlus tab. This just arrived over the weekend. In fact, it came on Friday the same day the new Zelda game came out. So I kind of ignored it. I just set this up like an hour ago. I don't have the review ready yet. Probably gonna have that ready by the end of the week. But my initial impressions of the pen are pretty good. Uh, the pen isn't wobbly and the screen is pretty. So it'll probably do pretty well in my review. Anyway, back to high paint, uh, opening up the app. What do we have? User privacy policy, software license agreement. I'm just gonna go ahead and agree. There's nothing crazy in there. High paint collects local data to enable use of Bluetooth drawing board function even when the app is closed or not in use and also used to support advertising. So I, this is a free app and I was really curious as to how how they actually are going to pay for this. It sounds like the answer is advertising. So let's accept. I'm gonna say only while using the app. So the app is loaded up. We're just on a gallery screen here. So, so far, this is a lot like Procreate. You know, you got your gallery, you got your little plus button down here, new canvas, create a folder, makes sense. New canvas, uh, I'm probably gonna go with screen, uh, but I can go ahead and create whatever size I want. I'm gonna say screen. It's going to boot me over here. That's nice. Starting with a gallery is very common for art apps, but oftentimes it creates the canvas and you got to tap on the canvas. That's something Procreate does a lot where they'll combine two actions together. When you create the canvas, it just takes you there. So that's kind of nice. And you could just start drawing away uh, over here. Obviously very Procreate like uh, this probably changes your size. Yep. That's exactly what that slider does. And this probably changes the opacity. Yep. That's exactly like Procreate has this little circle here, which is, uh, oh, brings up a wheel with some funky kerning. Delete the layer, new layer, redo, undo, okay. Lock transparent pixels, that's crazy, that's hard to read. Clear the layer, copy, my, merge layers down. Oh man, that is hard. And this, oh, okay. So there's different numbers here. You tap on the different numbers and it brings up all sorts of different stuff. These are customizable maybe, that's exactly it. Tap and hold and you can customize it. That's nice. Okay, how do I get out? Do I just tap? It's gone, nice. Now Procreate has some icons up here. This does not, it has way more icons over here. So they probably just moved some of those things over. This is saving, yep, that's exactly what it is. Is this new layer? No, okay, I can import a picture. I can import a reference, uh, shape, symmetry, what does reference do? Okay, just like Procreate, we have a reference area. Probably could import an image here and look at it there. There's also this little icon here, which probably goes to your camera. My camera's pointing down. No, it shows your canvas again. I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. Oh well. Maybe it's one of those things where if you're zoomed way in and you want to see the full picture, you can keep that in your reference. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Your shape tools. Now, Procreate has quick shapes. This is just, okay. This is just your shape. If I put a finger down, does it snap? No, that's something Procreate does is it makes it easy to make like perfect shapes by doing that. So this is just kind of a standard shape tool. So this is obviously similar to Procreate, but it's different in different ways. That closes it. There's one more in here, symmetry that I wanted to check out. Yep, that's exactly it. So I can say I want my symmetry over there and I could just start drawing here. I can draw here, it does the same thing down below. That makes sense. How do I turn that off? Oh, the X. Going to take a quick intermission here to talk about my new drawing course. Learn how to draw in 60 days. Just launched a few weeks ago and it's basically exactly what it says. Every day there's a lesson. Each lesson builds on the other one and basically gives you a little video tutorial to follow every single day so you don't have to think, what should I draw? And at the end of the 60 days, you're gonna learn a lot of basic skills that build on top of each other. So you could take those and tackle some harder tutorials down the road. There's a discount link down below in the description. So make sure you check that out. There's a lot more details down there too, if you just wanna learn more. Anyway, back to the video. Now this is interesting, the paint bucket tool. This was something in Procreate where you could drag the color in. Oh, you can drag it here too. Okay, but there's also a paint bucket tool. So I can come in here and I could use the paint bucket tool. So I could do either way. What does this do? This resizes everything. We've got some options so I can like distort it if I want to. That's funky. Flip horizontal, flip vertical, size it. All right, 
cool. These are our selection tools. This makes sense. Selection tool stuff comes down here. We've got settings, add, remove, invert. Nice. Tap to get off that. This is the smudge tool, I take it. So I can smudge, it's just smudging a little bit. Let's increase that. And what can we do with the smudge tool? So just like Procreate, the smudge tool is using the same brushes to smudge, uh, I'm assuming, that we get with the paintbrush. So let's go over to paintbrush, double tap that, and yep, we can change all our paintbrushes. Looks like we have a lot here. We have favorite, imported, basic, sketching, dry media, ink. Let's go to ink. I like a good ink brush. Yeah, that's kind of slow. I don't know if that's the tablet or the brush. Well, give me a different one, fountain pen. All right, let's try fountain pen. Okay, that's all right. That works. Gets the job done. Then this is the eraser, which erases. And again, I'm assuming, yep, just like Procreate, you can grab any brush and erase with that brush. These are the layers I take it. It's exactly what it is. Let's create a new layer. Um, and if I drag, yep, tapping and dragging just moves your layers around, just like Procreate. We're noticing patterns here. So this is another thing that Procreate does well that that other apps don't necessarily do. I'll be in my layer palette and I'll tap and that closes my layer palette and then I start drawing. And Procreate again combines those two steps. So when I tap out, I just automatically start drawing. It's only one move. That is so nice. It's little, it's those little things. So they copied the good stuff from Procreate. And then this is our color, just like Procreate. Yep, identical to Procreate. Identical to Procreate, identical to Procreate. Okay, yep, we know how all this works. Let's go to purple. And then we have our three dots over here, which canvas size, clear, flip horizontal, clip vertical, stabilizer, okay. So stabilizer isn't in the brushes, or maybe this is just a like universal stabilizer, and it is in the brushes, and it's here as well. Wow, that really stabilizes. So that's, that's not too bad. Okay, you don't wanna crank that too high. I'm gonna keep it off. Playback, create animations, sketch settings, my device backup. Ah, yeah, playback. So this is gonna playback everything we did, maybe? Okay, it's not gonna playback anything we did. Okay, that's not working. I wonder if I have to allow it to like save to my device in the settings first or something, I don't know. Create animation, okay, so it has animation and it is identical. Yes, I have two layers and <laughs> That's exactly what's happening here. Okay, stop. So every layer that you add to your composition is going to be used in your animation. So this is identical to Procreate. Yep, loop, ping pong, one shot. Uh, you can adjust your frames per second. You can adjust your onion skinning. Yep, this is, this is Procreate's animation tool. Sketch settings are probably just our settings, yes. Disable, undo, and redo. Okay, so did I, I don't know if I've done this, but two fingers undoes. Yep, obviously we pinch and zoom. Procreate lets you pinch to zoom into your canvas. Okay, Procreate has a little animation, but that snaps the canvas into place. Pen mode, drawing with fingers will be disabled. Palm anti false touch. This is actually really good for a lot of Android tablets. Uh, you know, if you're using a Wacom pen, like a, a Samsung tablet, it'll reduce the number of false touches your, your palm makes that's almost needed for any Samsung tablet. Disable pinch to zoom. I wouldn't do that, but you can do it. Long press to activate eyedropper tool. I was kind of wondering about that. There is an eyedropper tool and you can long press to get to it. Tap and hold with pen to activate the color picker, yeah. And then we have other stuff. Touch key, the radial menu, that's what that touch key's doing, okay. But you can switch between brush and eraser, switch to previous color, color picker, okay. Cool, cursor, you can turn the cursor on. Left-handed mode switches to the other side, keyboard shortcuts, so I'm not gonna use those. What's my cursor look like? Okay, so my cursor, you probably can't see it on camera because it's tiny, but my cursor doesn't hover, it only appears when I'm drawing, and that's probably just a limitation of the pen. And backup, what does backup do? It just saves? All right, that backed it up, good job. I'm gonna turn off these layers and create a new one because I wanna jump into the brushes, that's where I wanna spend a little bit more time. Favorites. So you can add a heart to it just like Procreate. Let's go basic brushes. Let's tap on one of these things. So if you double tap on a brush, man, this looks like Procreate. I don't remember all the settings that Procreate has for their brushes, but this looks a lot like Procreate. General, shape of your brush, the texture of your brush, the, the dual brush, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, when you combine brushes together, I think. Uh, pencil, oh, this is like the pressure curve. and the, Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm really curious if this can import Procreate brushes or if it's just like, it's like what happens? How do I import? I'll hit plus. Oh, plus created another group down there. I don't want a group. What does this do? New brush, rename this group, delete this brush group. Delete the brush group, okay. We have some grid brushes. Let's draw in some grids. Can I come here? 
I have no idea how to import a brush, but apparently you can, because that's a category. But we have our basic brushes here. Um, this is our airbrush. We can make it really big. Whoosh. Hard airbrush, the leaf brush. Ooh, pixel brush, that's kind of cool. Sketching, which is all our pencils. We were looking at that before. Dry media, uh, so this is like a charcoal, okay. So far these look good. This whole app looks really good. Inking, I have yet to find a good ink brush. The fountain pen kind of works, but it doesn't get big enough for me. Airbrush is an airbrush. Yeah, oh, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> some dynamics going on there. Painting, you got your flat brush, sawtooth watercolor, okay. Let's go to, actually, let's try watercolor really quick while we're here. It's doing the same thing, and then if you go over, it's adding layers to it. All right, that's all right. Plants. Materials, lights, elements. This is so much like Procreate Grids. We played with the grids a little bit already. Yeah, so this is very close to a Procreate clone. They pretty much have taken feature for feature. They've changed some stuff around a little bit. But if you are looking for Procreate on Android, you know, this is the way to go. Back in the gallery, we have some settings. Why is there an Apple logo in the settings? I have no idea. Is there an Apple logo in Procreate and you thought that just went there? That's weird. Does it go anywhere? Oh, okay. Okay, look at that. It took me to the App Store, the Chinese Apple App Store, and is this is this on the iPad too? Guess what? You can get this on the iPad as well. So if, you, if you're not using Android, but you're still interested in basically using Procreate without paying for it, here you go. There it is on the iPad. I might as well tap get while I'm here. So there we go. We have Procreate on Android now. It's, it is really good. It is surprisingly good. They nailed all the little details. A lot of apps have borrowed from Procreate and outright taken interface elements from Procreate before, but they haven't quite got the details right. And I feel like this one, this one is, it's, they paid attention. Maybe a little too much attention. Uh, maybe they should be a little bit more unique, but if you are an Android and you're looking for Procreate, I think you got it now. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.